Association, and Sean Berry from the Campaign for Better Transport, which lobbies in favour of greener transport solutions. Good morning to you both. Well, you both agree on one thing, I know, which is that things have to be done to improve the transport system. It's just a question of which bits of it. Sean, you don't, you're not in favour of improving roads particularly. I think uh, widening a lot of roads as they're planning to do, and these are the main roads, I think it's ultimately a self-defeating uh, policy. Uh, we know that new roads create new traffic and just fill up again. So in a few years' time, we'll be back to where we started, just as much congestion. What we really need to do is more sustainable things. We need to be focusing on walking, cycling, and public transport in terms of road space and transport investment. And, and that would be much better for the economy as well. I mean, you get social and health benefits from that, as well as congestion benefits. And those are benefits that everyone experiences, not just a few people um, who want to build uh, business parks, not just a few people um, on the roads you know, who want to drive. What, what, what's your point of view? Where, is this where government money should be going? And, and you know, you've, you've heard from the so-called benefits. Absolutely. The, the Road Haulage Association absolutely <laughs> welcomes um, this, this, this spending, this investment. I think there's been a lack of investment in the UK strategic road, road network for some time. Uh, and from an industry perspective, um, congestion is a big issue. It's a major issue. Uh, it has an impact on, on, on both the economy and an impact on, um, effectively, um, the cost of distribution. Mm. So, so, so in order to ease congestion and actually look, you know, look for these solutions, it's, uh, it's of great benefit. Yeah, because the roads, there's no other place to put roads and, and, and delivery systems except with, with lorries, except that on, on the highways, surely. No, absolutely. I mean, you know, for, for, for us, um, you know, the, the smart system investment, the easing of congestion, um, you know, different, different road services, which will also have an impact on the environment. These are all beneficial things that, that, that through this investment. All right, we need a better road system in order to, to keep ourselves well, fed, don't exactly. we? Exactly. So, I mean, that's the, that's the point. This is not a policy that will actually relieve congestion in the long term. So it won't actually benefit um, the members in uh, in HGVs. What we need to why do won't it? is to make space why, for why, all why, the essential... If, if you have clear, bit wider <laughs> roads, longer roads, better roads for lorries, that, in, that improves things. generate new traffic. They just fill up again. What we need to be doing is getting cars off the road, uh, improving other methods. Well, I mean, what happens when the new traffic that's on these roads spills out into our towns and cities? They'll get even more congested, and there's no scope within dense urban areas for making those roads wider. We have to be doing something more sustainable and more long-term. This is a very short-term policy. So, Richard, if you improve the roads, it may be better for the lorries, but also you get more cars on, then more congestion is the idea. I, well, I think, I think from our perspective, I think, I think the roads are, are pretty full right now. The, the, the issue is, uh, you know, it's upon us. Um, that investment needs to be made now in order to start easing the congestion. Um, uh, you know, I think I think that it's going to take a period of time for for, for that work to be carried out. Um, and, and and the issue is right now it's immediate. So that investment needs to be made in order to to ease the congestion that we're facing as an industry right now. Mm. Uh, more affordable public transport might be might be your answer, but it doesn't get round the issue of how do you get deliveries in in lorries. To where they need to be. Well, I mean, yeah, so that's the whole point. So I'm not, in, I'm not against investing in roads, but it's about not making them just bigger and hoping for the best. It's about using them more efficiently. So better journey planning, better information for drivers when they're on the roads about where the congestion is, and things like variable speed limits, which have been shown to help ease congestion in, in busy times when the flow gets unstable and things like that. Those kinds of investments in our roads, uh, improving the surface, not a problem with that. But if you're talking about capacity, the capacity increases have to be in the more sustainable mode. The alternatives to using the car. Otherwise, we're just encouraging car dependency. Mm. I mean, how do our, our highways and roads compare, for instance, in terms of haulage with other countries in Europe? Well, I think, I think um, we're an island, in a sense. So, so there's a far greater density in terms of, in terms of the amount of traffic that, 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 that's, that's, that's using the, you know, the, the UK road network. Um, so so the, the, you know, there's, the, the certainly congestion is, is probably a bigger issue within this country because of because of that reason. All right. Richard and Sean, thank you both very much. Thank you.